Look at here, we got a gift. We got a gift to Gelo from Santa Claus, to Supra, maybe. We'll see, we need to unpack it. Today, Gelo said that we need to join him in his workshop where we actually are because he has something special to show us. Look at here, we got a gift. We got a gift to Gelo from Santa Claus, to Supra maybe. We will see, we need to unpack it, unwrap it in a second. We see that it's from Japan probably, lovely. Uh, but first, let me show you what the guys actually, during this time when they got the car, the chassis, to their hands, what they've done. As you can see, there is a seat. Uh, I will be jumping in the car in a second. We will be measuring uh, the distances, uh, if the seat is in correct place, uh, if the steering wheel is in correct place, and the pedals. So then uh, we can make the roll cage tailor for my size. Also, what you can see, we have a fresh Wisefab kit in front from this, for this vehicle. Straight from the Wisefab, we have a tie rod, which is going to the new, to the new, and I will show what's underneath here in a second, to the new steering rack, which is from actually old BMW uh, E91, but not the M car, because the M car has a shorter uh, ratio, steering ratio. So this is a bit longer, which is handy for going sideways and maneuvering while going sideways. And underneath the hood, <laughs> there is an infamous already in drifting 2JZ, and as you can see, we could fit actually two of them underneath <laughs> this engine, into this engine bay. So I don't know, this, look at this, there are the coils, and we are actually with the engine more behind them than in front of them. So I don't know if we wouldn't have to be putting some stuff in front of the car more, but this we'll know after. We'll make it ready to run and uh, to test it first. So, let's put the hood down, the huge hood down. And here is actually the rear subframe, which is already made to fit the quick change differential. So uh, that's an important thing to have, definitely a crucial now in a professional uh, drifting. And what else? In the back, in the back we got already a nitrous bottle, which is just fitted here to just take the sizes, same with the uh, radium fuel cell, and we got a lovely firewall made out of carbon or fiber. Uh, we will see, we will see there will be probably a lot of moving things around just to make it perfectly in case of handling and filling behind the steering wheel. Also, we got uh, lovely parts from HGK. The doors made out of carbon Kevlar and the lovely tunnel for the uh, fans, for the radiator fans made out of carbon fiber, but that's current status of this construction of this build. There is uh, definitely a lot more to do, but, but let's bring the joy to all of us, I think, because what all of us have been waiting for is to see what's in there, what's actually in this package. So guys, let us unwrap it. <laughs> <laughs> There are no potatoes. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. There it goes. Somewhere like, like here. It's gonna be a wide one. It's a bit wider than this dog. So we need some tape, just for the moment. Put it in a place and to see with our own eyes.
Uh, how it's going to look like, but uh, I'm already excited. <laughs> Definitely, I didn't see it anywhere on any different card to have a piece like that on the side. So it will have like double spoiler. It's gonna be aggressive. Very aggressive and smoky, yes. The only thing what we notice already that it's gonna be wider by approximately six centimeters. It will be nice if we will check maybe here. But yes, yeah, six and a half in the widest part. That's what she said. But <laughs> the wise fab is wider about eight centimeters. That's what she said. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, uh, the hope is that the stock rims were quite wide. Uh, yeah, we have high hopes. Let's, uh, let's continue unwrapping the new parts and stay positive. It's Christmas, guys. Yeah, we should be positive. Don't think about negative things. Woo. So, one side is done. We'll do the other side in a second, but it will just be the same but mirrored. So, guys, now we will actually see how we should copy those parts together. So, which should be connected where. So, definitely, this will be connected with the hood. So, we'll copy this as one piece. Probably we'll separate the splitter from the bumper in case of any damage of the splitter. Same thing with the side skirts. Currently, we fit it on top because we, we thought that they will go on top of the whole chassis, but actually they go on top of the original side skid. So this will need to be applied together and then copied the same uh, with this uh, little piece, which will probably just connect to the doors since the doors are already made for OEM. So there is no need to copy them. Fender flares, they will definitely will be somehow connected with the rear. We need to figure it out also how to do this. Ducktail will be connected to the uh, fiberglass or different material of the rear hatch and those little pieces are also separated so we need to figure it out how to connect them uh, but <laughs> it looks savage can't wait to see it in one piece rolling uh, probably we'll have to wait for that a bit more but for now guys super excited thank you for joining i wish you merry merry christmas great presents and all the best and happy new year. See you in the new year then. All the best, take care.